Hey there YouTube and welcome to Vector Riot and I'm Billy and today we are playing The War Z. Um, I've played it for a bit with my friend uh, but I'm oh, honestly I'm no good at the game but I'm just going to start off with a, a character that each, each of them literally have nothing in their inventory except for that guy. Ignore that, we won't use him. Um, but yeah, nothing in my inventory and nothing in my inventory except for a couple of bits of food and a flashlight. It's pretty much what you start off with. But um, I'm going to play the game and as I go through I'm most likely going to die so it's not like a campaign where you live and go on to the next level. War Z is about putting yourself in a map, this huge open world map and you have to survive. So I'm going to jump in with literally nothing and see how long I can last. Uh, I'm going to start off in the series playing on lower population maps because so many people play this game and they just kill you for your stuff. It's, it's all against all. It's a doggy dog world and it is not nice. So I'm going to choose this character and uh, I've got 190 experience I've got nothing in my inventory whatsoever it's going to be extremely hard, I'm probably going to die uh, and I've got one perk on my skill tree which is increased melee damage but it's not like overpowered or anything so what we're going to do is we're going to go play game we're going to choose a browser server sorry and um, have a look down here uh, no, they're all taken. So I'm just going to go to the US servers and take a look at a low populated one. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah, this one's got three people. You know, it's, it's, that's, that's going to be fine. Okay. Anyway, so I found out whilst playing this game that it is hard as hell and literally if you have nothing in your hands you can't fight, you can't use your fists against against the zombie you need. You need a torchlight or a, or a knife or a baseball bat and you can find these in areas around the city, usually hotels or the top of roofs that humans used to live on. But um, other than that you are really on your own so you're going to probably see me play the first part of this uh, running for my life and it's night time which is shit. Yeah, I have nothing. Okay. Oh, where am I on the map? I am in the NORAD military base. That is such a funny place to start. Um, this place has many weapons, but it's just cram-packed with zombies. And I have no idea if I'm near any. I think I know where I've spawned here, because earlier on I got killed and I lost all my gear by another player. I was playing with a friend and we was just, we like people use this as a place to grind and get weapons. I think, anyway, I think. It seems like, yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go, there's the military base. And if you're wondering what I'm running this on, I'm running this at top quality, like ultra graphics. So this is the best you can get out of the game. Unless there's any mods that I'm not aware of, so I've only just started playing it the other day. Alright, let me explain to you the user interface while we're looking around. Um, the numbers you see in the bottom of the middle of the screen are your uh, infantry slots, so you can tap on a keyboard like one, two, three, four, you know, choose what you want. Uh, at the bottom left, you've got your health, and if it's all red, it's full, and then the white bars are your food and water, and they lower over time, and the orange one's your stamina. Uh, in the top right, we have the eye and the ear symbols, and they are pretty much what the enemies around you or zombies can see of you, hear of you, and other things. So if they're high, you're going to get spotted. Um, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller plugged into my computer, but you have to use the keyboard because some of the buttons can't get mapped, and it's quite frustrating, really. But you, you still get used to it. I just use the Xbox 360 controller to shoot, so that's what I'm good with. Um, I can't see anything. Um. But I'm going to upload all my failures because I guarantee you I'll die a thousand times over. Most likely by players. But, um, you know, I'm just going to keep uploading it all anyway just so you can see. Okay. It doesn't seem to be guarded by any zombies. 
you can have it in third person and first person as well and if you want it when you're near zombies you can either crouch on the Xbox controller you have to hold it for some reason you can't like change the keys around shit fuck shit 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 fuck alright tactical knife oh boy he's behind me oh two oh two die bastard ah yeah that's what I'm talking about here we go five xp I'll be in it I don't know why I'm whispering. Um, is that a gun? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. There we go. Getting somewhere. And a flare as well. Perfect. That's the most convenient thing ever. Okay. I'm going to show you what a flare does. And oh, it's a flashlight. Okay. Okay, I've got my gear. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get out of here. I can go that way, can't I? Yeah, we'll run, we'll run. If there's only one. If there's only one, you might as well take him out with your knife. You don't want to alert the others. Okay. Oh, we gotta. Vino's in, hello. I don't trust you and I never will trust anybody in this game because you're all backstabbers. But nice to meet you. Um, no, I'm not joining your groups, so you know where I am, no way. No, no. Right, let's get a move on. Sorry, I really get engrossed in this game, it's just amazing, I love it. It's just so hard, but it makes me want to come back and play more. Okay, let's move up the hill. Okay. Well, there was a quick example anyway of how a situation can go smoothly and you can live. Because usually in that area, it's full of them and you just get slaughtered. Let's see if we can find it. I'm really worried about this guy. I guarantee you, me and him are going to have a... Uh, meeting later on. We'll probably win that meeting. But for now, because I want to keep my videos short, I'm going to just lay here and log out. Okay. And by the way, when you log out, you have it has 10 seconds between uh, disconnecting from the server and this in this within this 10 seconds you can get killed. So always find a safe place to switch off. And um, I'm Bill, and thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the videos to come. Okay, bye.